Good day, good day, beloved. Happy new week. Happy new week. God has laid a word in my spirit, but let us begin with a word of prayer. Father, I just cover this word with the blood of Jesus. Minister to the hearts of your people. Let them not hear me, but let them hear you through me. Let this be a word of confirmation for somebody. I declare it, I decree it, I release it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, beloved. Amen. God has laid a word in my spirit today. We're talking kingdom marriages again. God has given me an exciting word. And the prophetic word that the Holy Spirit has given me today is God is ready to bring the promise to pass. God is ready to bring the promise to pass. The highest ministry call is the call of families. I am going to say that again. The highest ministry call is the call of families. The fundamental of these kingdom marriages is to create kingdom families. When you look at Genesis 9 verse 7, it says, Go, multiply and be what? Fruitful. Fruitful in terms of being prosperous and fruitful in terms of the family, the family being fruitful in terms of having children, in terms of having and acquiring all that you, you aspire to acquire and all that you need to become prosperous. Mm. So God says he is bringing these families together because family on its own is a ministry. And God says the highest call of ministry is families. So he is bringing forth, God says he is ready to bring forth these families for the purpose of kingdom marriages. Kabo City. That will bring forth kingdom families. Kababo City. Kababo City. Thank you, Holy Spirit. These marriages are marriages of purpose. They are marriages of purpose. Mm. God is saying he is ready to perform his word right now. He says two is better than one. Two is better than one. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians that two is better than one. For one can be defeated, but two can stand back to back together. So these, mar these kingdom marriages are more like Merges. God is merging two individuals together for the purpose of kingdom marriages, for the purpose of kingdom families, because it was the, it was the plan of God for there to be kingdom families, so that the legacy and the lineage of Jesus Christ can be carried down from generation to generation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, Psalms 128. I'm going to read Psalms 128, verse 3 to 4. It says, your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around the table. Yes, this will be the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. So God had families in mind when he created kingdom marriages because the kingdom marriages the purpose of the kingdom marriages is to create kingdom families families are in the heart of god families are deeply embedded in the heart of God. That is why right now he is bringing people together for the purpose of kingdom marriage and kingdom families. And he is restoring strained relations because the family structure needs to be restored, saith the Lord. The Holy Spirit put this so strongly in my spirit and I had to release it. And he said, go and tell my people that I am ready now 
to perform my word. Jeremiah 1 verse 11, it says, The word of the Lord came to me, saying, What do you see, Jeremiah? And he replied, I see a branch of an almond tree. Verse 2. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well. For I am ready to perform my word. You have seen well. For I am ready to perform my word. And as I was meditating on this word, the Holy Spirit said, tell my people I'm ready to perform my word concerning kingdom marriages. I am ready to perform my word concerning kingdom marriages. When you look at the olive tree, the, uh, the olive tree, the olive branch tree, it is, it, it's the first to bloom. But the last to bear fruit. And the Holy Spirit has given me this prophetic word. That some of you, you've been in, in the waiting season. But now God is saying it's time to bloom. It is time to bloom. God is saying he is ready to perform his word right now. He is ready to perform his word right now. Because these kingdom marriages are for God's kingdom. They are your blessing. They are your answered prayer. But the base of these marriages are to create kingdom families. To create kingdom legacies. They are to serve in the kingdom of God. And God is saying that two is better than one. That two is better than one. That he is about to bring people together right now for the purpose of kingdom marriages. That it is going to happen with great urgency. With great urgency. Like these marriages, God is bringing them together quickly. There's a great urgency in this in the kingdom of god for these marriages to come forth because there's a lot of work to be done through these couples and through these pairings i feel a great urgency in my spirit even when i was delivering this word i felt i felt such a great urgency god is saying he is pairing people together he is pairing people together he is joining people together in this hour some have been joined for the first time some are reconnecting and reconciling because the highest form of ministry is families and god is very very jealous when it comes to the families he's very protective of families that is why the enemy the first thing that he tries to target is the family structure when you look at genesis 3 he tried to destabilize the family structure by coming for eve but i have come as the prophet of god God with the mental of families. God has given me a mental of families. And every family that the enemy tried to intercept, God is restoring in this hour. God is saying, I am ready to perform my word. And everybody that has been standing in prayer, you have been waiting for it. You have been warring for it. You have been trusting God for this marriage. It is coming forth. And the reason why you have been feeling the pressure is because the time is now it's your bloom season it's your bloom season this is your answered prayer and this is god's gift to you and this is the gift that you will serve god with in his kingdom because god created these kingdom marriages in order to establish kingdom families in order to establish kingdom legacies father as you have laid this prophetic word in my spirit
Thank you for these kingdom families. Thank you for those who are reconciling. Thank you for those who are getting married. Thank you for these marriages. Thank you for these kingdom marriages that will serve the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord, that you are restoring the family structure. You are restoring the family structure in society. You are restoring the family structure in this hour mightily in the name of Jesus. Thank you for these kingdom marriages. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the testimonies that are coming from this word i prophesy it i declare it i decree it i release it in jesus name amen beloved i'm excited i'm excited these weddings are coming forth and they are coming forth out of nowhere get ready get